Bonjour and welcome back to Francophile Friday. There are less than two weeks until the release of Trader in Her Arms. I hope you've learned a lot from these videos and are excited to see some of the research in the actual book. So the last couple of weeks I discussed Marie Antoinette, Louis XVI, and the Royal Children. And if you'd like to take a look at those videos, um, you can check out my YouTube channel. I'll post links below um, this video or you can just search for Shana Galen on YouTube. Uh, this week I'm going to be discussing a few other nobles I mentioned in my books and who played a part in the French Revolution. So the first of these is Princess Lamballe, Princess de Lamballe. She was Marie Antoinette's best and closest friend. At one point she was sent to England during the Revolution and she was trying to persuade the British to intervene to help the French royal family. Um, but while she was there, she received a note from the queen recalling her to France, and she followed her queen's orders and returned only to find that the note had been forged and Marie Antoinette had not called her back and would never have endangered her life by doing that. So the princess was eventually imprisoned in La Force, and um, the mobs broke into La Force, and they attacked Princess Lamball and other prisoners, although one account I read was that the guards that had that held her actually shoved her into the um, melee. They dismembered the princess and they carried her severed head past the window of the imprisoned Marie Antoinette in order to terrorize the queen. So um, the, although the princess herself doesn't actually play much of a part in my books, my characters would certainly have read accounts of the attack on the force and I did use that account to model other mob massacres in my book, in um, Traitor in Her Arms, and then in books in the series that follow. Another noble that's often mentioned in conjunction with the royal family was Count Axel von Fersen, and he was a Swedish nobleman who was good friends with Marie Antoinette. Some have claimed that the two were lovers. Uh, it's my personal opinion, based on research, that this is unlikely, though. Von Fersen was one of the architects of the French royal family's failed escape from Paris, and when this became known, Von Fersen had to flee France, but he never stopped trying to facilitate the escape of the royal family from France, and until Marie Antoinette's death, he worked to ensure she was treated well, and he never stopped trying to find a means um, for her to escape. The Duc d'Orléans was a cousin to Louis XVI. He was quite wealthy and power-hungry, and he actively worked against Louis XVI in an attempt to strip him of power. So there's some evidence that Orléans was behind the storming of the Bastille. Um, he was also the owner of the Palais Royal, which uh, does play a part in Traitor in Her Arms. And in the end, though, the Duke also went to his death via the guillotine. So the last two people I'll discuss are Madame Elisabeth and Ernestine de Lombriquet. Madame Elisabeth was the younger sister of Louis XVI. She was imprisoned with the royal family and she shared quarters with her niece, Marie Therese, who I talked about um, last week. Um, especially after the king and queen were guillotined, the um, Madame Royale, Marie Therese, leaned heavily on her. Madame Elisabeth never married. She was devoutly religious and unfortunately she was also guillotined in May of 1794. Now, Ernestine de Lambriquet is thought to be the illegitimate daughter of Louis XVI and a, ch and a chambermaid. She was born just a few months before Marie Therese, and she was raised alongside the royal children and was their constant playmate. She was said to greatly resemble Marie Therese. She was not imprisoned, and her fate is unknown, but some theorists do argue that Ernestine de Lambriquet switched places with Marie Therese while the princess was in prison. And that's all for the nobles. And next week you can join me for more about revolutionaries and the revolutionary government. Au revoir.